everybody, it's Robbie from Southern California, and today, ooh, I should be quiet, I'm in Gary's garden, and Gary's gonna do a banana harvest! Oh, not those bananas! Those bananas have two baby hummingbirds. I can see their heads! They're in the nest, I see them! Anyways, Gary is doing a banana harvest on the bananas that have fallen. So we're going to do that. Just get him out of here quick so we can leave this poor mom alone with her two babies. See what happens to the bananas? Sometimes they get so heavy that they just lean and lean and lean until they end up on the ground. And there they are. So Gary, what kind of bananas are these? These are gold finger bananas. Gold fingers. How many do you think are on the one bunch? And they're all ripe. They're all ripe. These are fairly small. There's two, four, six. There's about 50 on this one. We have about 50 bananas, and there it goes. He's going to cut them. So this is why it is probably not a good idea for a hummingbird to build a nest on the bananas. There's no hummingbird nest in that one, huh? No, no. <laughs> not in that one. The hummingbird, I'm going to try to back out of here. It, this literally is a jungle of banana plants. As you can see, they're just all over. They are... I don't know, would you say 15, 20 feet tall? Are there been a lot of these banana plants? Yeah, they, this, is, this one here is probably about 12 feet. 12 feet? And some of the others are 15, 20 feet. But she's screaming. I hear her and she is screaming her little lungs out because she wants us out of here. But there it is. And that's the only downfall, if you want to do pros and cons, that's the only downfall on the bananas is that when you have bananas, you have them all ripe at the same time, which is wonderful because you can freeze them. You can snap them off and freeze them with the skin. Or what I do a lot of times is I just peel them and I either put them on a cookie sheet, freeze them, and then put them in a plastic bag or just peel them. And if I get lazy, just throw them in a plastic bag, lay it flat and freeze it. But I'll have bananas for a little while, but then you eat a lot of bananas too. Yeah. So that's minimum disturbance. I'll leave that stem and remove it after she fledges her babies. Oh, that's right, because usually you chop it up and you compost yeah, in I'll place. Yeah, chop it up, drop it underneath the banana. But I'll leave that one for a while. It's, it'll be another week or two. Okay, so she'll be gone in about a week or two, and then you can do everything you want to do, and then the other bananas will probably be ready in a few weeks. So let's see if we can peek real quick, because I know she's not here. Well, she's here, but she's screaming. I hear her. And there they are. Let me see if I can get you to see them. And there they are, right there. I don't want to touch them. That's the babies. So that's it. So we are out of here. We're going to leave the babies. See how she wove? a nest with spider webs. She wove it all through there and she you can see the babies are now pooping on the outside. So when they have to go to the bathroom, see that? See that too? When they have to do their thing, they pick up their little tails and they shoot it out. And the reason they do that is it keeps their nest beautifully clean. Mom doesn't have to do anything. In the beginning when they're real tiny babies, when they poop, they poop in a little sack and she picks up that sack, she flies off, and she drops it somewhere. So if you ever have a poop sack dropped on your head, it's probably that. And now when they're older like this, what they do is they poop, and then it shoots over there, and it keeps, see, it keeps their nest nice and clean. You see my kitchen window when they were nesting on there, and the whole window, the screen was covered in it? That's because they're keeping their nest clean. They couldn't care less about my window. So at that we're out of here. Gary's waiting over there, and we're going to take off and let her do her thing. Have a great day. And don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye, everybody.
she's going to sit there and she's going to shade them from the sun. And thank goodness it's not that warm. It's just sunny. You see how she's going to sit there and spread her wings? It's hard to see. And she's going to shade them. That leaf on the top does shade them. I always make sure that leaf is exactly where it's supposed to be because she knows where that leaf is, that brown leaf. So I make sure that leaf is in the right position and now it's shading them. And she's going to sit there and shade her babies. And I'm going to leave now. I just want you to see she came back. She fed them. And all is good. Mmm. Loaded with bananas. Topped with walnuts, coconut, a bit of brown sugar, and cinnamon. The bananas in this one, not just mashed bananas bananas that were sauteed first on the stove, on the cooktop, in a frying pan with a little butter and a little bit of brown sugar. Oh, this is going to be a winner. This is cake and this is broccoli. Say by say which one you want. Oh, the cake went first and the broccoli second.